everybody. How's everybody doing? As you can tell, it's something different. And we're going to discuss about prepping in case we have an emergency to be stocked up on food. And we're going to talk about that a little bit. I'm going to show you what we got. Cat's going to be in the way. It always is. Um, as of today, today is, what is today? The date. The 12th? I think so. About to move. I think it's May 12th. Yeah. We're May, May 12th. It's May 12th. We have no gas in Urban, Tennessee. There is no gas in Elizabethan, Tennessee. Johnson City, Tennessee. I do not know. I've not heard nobody. No reports on the Johnson City yet. So. I've been doing this, let's see, last week I got a little bit and, and to yesterday we went and got some stuff. We got bottled water, I can't lift it, so we do have bottled water and we have flavored waters, we have soft drinks and stuff like that. Something that you can get that will last for a little while is peanut butter. Get crackers. We have crackers. I don't have them out, but we do have crackers. And get you something that will last for like two weeks or maybe a month. Because we, you just never know what's going to happen. Um, I'll tell you another lady to watch. She's another YouTuber. Is these diets. She's a prepper also. That woman has taught me so much. Go to her channel and, sh and just stroll through her videos and you'll see. She'll show you. Get you some dry beans. And I've got five more bags of pinto beans. Put them in the freezer. These are good. You put them on. They'll last a couple of days. Okay. We got canned sausage gravy. I really don't like canned gravy. I'd rather make it. But you know, if you're in a situation where you don't have no lights or something, you know, and I'll, I'll get to how you're going to warm it up in just a second. But, um, yeah, I hope it's good. I'm not a fan of canned gravy. I'd rather make it myself. But you know, it's on hand. And if you don't move, I got four cans of that, it was on sale. That's the kind it was. Got this at uh, Ingalls in Elizabethan. Got chicken broth. You can do so much with chicken broth. We got a 10 pound bag of rice. And that would go a long ways with some meals. So get you some rice. Rice and beans, any kind of beans. I just like pinto beans. That's, that's just my preference. You know, something that will go a long ways. Ramen noodles. I like chicken. We got some of them. You know, put some water in them and mix them up and uh, heat them up and you got your meal. Might not be what you want but at the time it'll keep your butt alive. And good question if we ain't got no electricity how I'm going to use these but you know where there's a will there's a way I will learn. This is a 32 cut I don't really remember how much that was. I think it's 23. And this one I found today, it's got 44 cups and it was $28 and the regular price was like $30-something. I saved $9 on that one. And, oh 
good. I was worried it wasn't the same blend. 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 Brand. God, help me, Lord. We have got, let's see, let me see how many we got. Sit down. We got 12, 12 cans of beanie weenies. You can eat them cold, you can eat them hot, you can eat them with crackers, you know. You better have something on your stomach than nothing at all. Got Chef Boy RD, spaghetti and meatballs, or only four cans in this, you know. Just something a little different. This, you can eat it cold or hot. We got, uh, Original, how you say this? Vienna. Vienna sausages. This is original. We got, this is smoked. Reduced sodium. Got 18 cans of of uh, the sausages. Um, talk to your doctor. Get your 90 day supply of your medications. Get your get pet supplies, the food, the ca dog food, the cat food, the cat litter. Um, if your animal is on medication, be sure to get 90 days of medication to last a while. And it's best to be prepared ahead of time in case something did happen. We've got it covered with the food, but we haven't discussed what to do if the lights goes out and stuff. Okay, if, if the lights go out, how are we going to cook? Our meals if they have something to cook, you know, like uh, something to warm up or make a cup of coffee. If you have a grill, that's all you need. You've got something to cook on. If you if you live in the mountains, you've got woods. You've got you know, you got something you can make a fire cook with. You know, you got to think about stuff like that. Um, we're looking into um, what's that thing called? That was going, was going to have it put on the Solar. house. Solar system for our phones to recharge it. We're looking at that. We're looking at a solar power. Solar power, yeah. Um, a generator. Uh, solar power generator. We're looking at that. Let's see what else are we looking at. Stop. Because if there ain't no gas, how how you going to fuel your generator? You gotta think. Get solar powered. Um, I'm trying to think of forget everything. Like I say, check out these dots because she goes more in detail. And she she goes. She's got one particular video that shows you everything that you need. And I'm learning from her, so I'm, I'm taking it one step at a time. But me and Paul has discussed about when the last goes out, what we're going to do. Um, you know, stuff like that. Now, as far as fixing food and, and preparing it, and, and, you know, we got a grill. So we ain't got no problem there. And get you plenty of water. That you clean a bottle of water because there might not be no water supply. So you gotta think of that. You gotta think of water for your pets. You gotta think of water for you to prepare your meals. 
Um, so that's that's what I want to talk to you about. And that's I just showed you what we got. That'll last us, I don't know, three, four weeks, five weeks. I don't know. It last a couple of weeks. But um, hopefully nothing ever happens to where we need it. And, you know, every month, each time, I will go go through it. We will use that stuff and put stuff in its place. So it won't sit there forever and go out of date. So we're going to do that. That'll be covered. But, yeah, that's what I want to discuss with you. Anything else I forgot? I can't think of anything. And if you've got a bike, it might be good to get you some tires because if, the, if there ain't no gas, you're not going to be able to fill up your car, but at least you have a bike to where you can ride down the road, see what's going on. You know what I'm saying? If we're, if we're not under martial law and stuff. So yeah. That's a little bit of our prep. Lord knows if nothing happens. Will you get him? I am going to can this year. This year I am canning. If nothing happens, I'm going to can. That's for darn sure. So I will have that on hand. But yeah, that's what I wanted to share with you. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I do have a P.O. box. We do have a PayPal account. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Check and make sure that you're still sus subscribed and, and uh, make sure that the bell's pushed and that you can get notifications when the videos go up. And we hope you enjoyed the video. And we'd like to hear from you guys and leave us a comment down below. Let us know how the gas situation is where you're at. Right now we, we ain't got none. East Tennessee, we, we don't have any as of right now. Hopefully they'll bring some in, but, you know, I know, I'm not trying to scare nobody. I'm just saying that we are getting prepared in case something else happens. We've got food, and we have got a way to fix food. The only problem that we have right now is if the lights go out, I am going to freak out. I'm going to be one freaked out chick. So we, we've got to deal with that problem. But that's all it is. So... Go to these diets. Check her out. She's a good one. Give us a thumbs up. Thumbs down. Either way, we appreciate it. Um, Triple T. How's it going up in Canada? Let me know how it's going up there. Um, we're praying for you guys. I hope you guys know that. Well, guys, God bless you. We will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. We love y'all. Stay safe.